four, two stage, going in five, four, three, two, one, ignition. How did you enjoy that flight? We're going to talk about it right after this short announcement. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. That wasn't the best video we've ever taken, but it does show that the rocket did work just fine. The rocket took off, it staged properly, the deployment charges worked, and it came down um, and I got the rocket back as you can see. So what I want to do is to kind of do a post-flight analysis of the flight and see what we could learn from it and what we might do better the next time. Um, as you saw in the video, the booster worked great. Even though we talked about the booster coming down in the video, it was just coming down kind of towards the crowd and so the um, RSO was kind of just saying, hey, keep your heads up on that booster. Um, the boost, the upper stage did, um, the upper stage did take off while it was still connected. Um, and there's a little bit of soot inside, but it's not as bad as I would have thought. Um, so that's actually pretty good news. Um, there was one issue at staging. What happened was if you look closely in the photographs, you see a little piece of cardboard coming down. And that was this little piece of cardboard right here between the fins. What I think happened was as the rocket staged, it didn't stage in a straight fashion. It kind of was crooked a little bit as it came out and it popped out that piece of cardboard. I wouldn't have expected that. And it's probably a rare occurrence. I've never had that happen before on any other two stage of rocket that I've flown. So I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, but it is pretty major damage here. Um, the fin did stay attached. Um, it broke on landing though, because there's just a, not a lot of, you know, without that piece of cardboard there holding it in place, it just popped off on landing. And this was there on the ground and I picked it up. Um, you can see, if you look closely, I also split the wood. Um, yeah, it must have hit really hard. Um, so I'm going to have to replace that fin and replace that piece of cardboard right there. Um, the good news is, now that I have access to the inside of the rocket, I can really put in really good fillets. And you can see the fillets that I made previously. It's actually pretty good. Um, yeah, there's a lot of good good epoxy under there, and it's strong. Um, so unfortunately that I broke that one there. Um, so that's the major damage, and yeah, that's going to take some time to repair and repaint. Um, unfortunately, that yeah, that happens. Uh, my eBay, um, it survived just fine. Um, you can see on the back of the hatch, there's a lot of soot. Um, and some soot did get inside the eBay. Uh, my battery got a little soot on it. It will wash off. I don't like seeing that much soot inside my eBay though. Um, so what I think happened was that the ejection charge, which was right here, and it blew just fine. It, um, I did have the ejection charge from the motor and I did have this Apogee charge. It worked fine. Um, I think it was just so much and it was so close to this bulkhead that it went up over the bulkhead and into the eBay. Um, if you're, so what I would suggest is if you're not using the altimeter in here and if you're using a dual deploy altimeter up here, what I would do is um, cut this hatch smaller so that it ends right here instead of all the way up here. Uh, that way it will prevent the ejection charge from getting inside the eBay. Um, everything else is fine. This rocket, um, after I repair the fin, um, it could fly again. The, the nose worked just fine. You can see it took a, a big hit of ejection charge right there, even though there was a parachute in here. 
I did fly it with the Jolly Logic Altimeter 3. Unfortunately, the parachute got out of the Jolly Logic while it was still up in the air. So the parachute did drift, but not far enough to where I couldn't get it. It was a long walk. It was probably a half a mile walk. I did get it back. Um, so no harm done there. Um, I would have hoped that it would have stayed inside the rubber band on the chute release. It just didn't. Uh, so that's the post-flight analysis. It was a great flight. I hope you enjoyed this build. Um, even with the damage, it is a good kit. So my name is Tim Van Milligan. Thank you for watching. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light. May the skies be blue. May all your rockets fly straight and true.